Yeah. Hey, we're going to take a break because Louis C.K. is oh, walking down the fucking oh, man. hall. I'm just a I man who's here start. in my fucking shoes sitting in a <laughs> goddamn chair. <laughs> right on, man. Colin. Colin, thank you, sir. Bye, guys. Jesus, oh, Colin hello? Quinn. Hi, right, we, we're talking to Colin Quinn on the uh, telephone. Right. It's fucking know, Colin. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's gone. Colin. Colin. Colin's gone. Are you guys still on the air? Yes. But we're going to take a quick break, right? I've never seen in my life. Are we? Thank you, man. I was fucking, we all wept. That's really nice Goddamn of you. Goddamn victory weeping when Louis was on <laughs> SNL. Oh, man. Australian that sketch? Fucking, that a pretty... monologue that kills? I got questions for you, because I know the inner workings. Oh, that's right. Jay Moore, so was, uh, he's an alumni of Why don't we take a quick Saturday break, let Louis take his coat off, and we'll get into it. Yes. Fucking Louis C.K.'s here today. I'm yes. so fucking happy. Nice. And Jay he's Moore. just a man who's here, sitting in a hi. fucking chair. Come by to say hi. Shit. I'm uh, sorry about Obama, Anthony. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to get into it. It's really right. my first thought was, oh, yeah. I, I know. So I know. So I, thank you. I I Look at Combs up there, <laughs> happy as hell. They let me uh, on yeah. TV. Finally. Listen, <laughs> they let Jay, me on TV. I'll talk over Jay. Jay Moore at Governor's this weekend, <laughs> Friday sorry. through Sunday. We're going to continue with Louis C.K. next. Hold the gun straight and turn the phone sideways when you take video. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Say hi to Louis C.K. Hey, Louis. Holy. Louis Lincoln, Lincoln. Louis is hey, here. Hey, guys. Hello, gentlemen. Jimmy uh, told us gentlemen. earlier today you might stop by, and we're very, very happy you're gentlemen. here. Gentlemen, obviously, we want to talk about SNL, man. Holy fuck! Yes, I hosted it. <laughs> how were, how were the ratings? Do you know what the ratings were when you They're did it? They're good. They did I bet good. they were good. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got like whatever. I wasn't like a record breaking or something, but I think it was the better of the season. It's Must nice. be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. after the hurricane, and it was the election last before. You the know, election, people so wanted to, to laugh. They needed to laugh. When you need to yes. have a smile on your face, <laughs> <laughs> a smile will do. Yes, you know, I'm it's still like, without power. By it's the like way. my bumper sticker says, "Are you says, really?" Yeah. Oh, oh, a million. Sorry, okay. You don't have a generator of everybody I, in the world. I, I he's got have a generator. A generator, but I don't have the one installed yet. I have one going yeah. in, but it, they got to sink a one thousand gallon fucking LP tank, and then a giant boxcar train oh size generator comes in. <laughs> so, but and it takes like six months. Maybe and it should be nicer time, to piece, people of color. That would have been done already. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, they would have just come right in and said, let's take care of yeah. this guy. He's one of us. <laughs> and with, with, with all that happening, uh, you know, I, I don't have... But I got, A I guy got with him, as many guns as you have has that a generator. Right. I know. I got to have a generator and fucking uh, metal shutters that just yeah. close over the windows. And, yeah, floodlights, <laughs> security cameras, scanners, a moat. <laughs> you, need, you need someone just walking the perimeter. Perimeter walker. Those guy. Riot That's cannons, you, need. you know those riots? Yeah. Those... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like <laughs> boom, bam. And a part tie truck because I've done the block. <laughs> How about South Africa actually had vehicles just for breaking up crowds of blacks? Yeah. Wow, like the really? only country in the what? world, like just apartheid trucks. Yeah, like no, not? this is good because it shoots tear gas and they can't get in. Oh, it's that's... you could drive right through the crowd. It's nice. That's right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sure they haul money to the corrupt government that's in charge now. Sure. Well, let's talk oh, about us. Jesus Christ, Africa? Anthony. <laughs> oh my God! It must take so much energy. I know. <laughs> Hate is exhausting. <laughs> Louis. Hate is exhausting. Well, I'm tired are, all the time. Are you as bummed as Somebody's Anthony is about it. Obama being reelected? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah. very happy. I'm very glad. I'm certain. You of know, it. I don't think Romney was. I wouldn't have been horrified if he right. was. He's a good guy. He's yeah. a nice man. He's a decent yeah. man. He's a kind man. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like Jody but, uh, Foster describing the rancher. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good man, sir. Um, yeah. But, uh, Louis, uh, I didn't know you could like... do that many imp impressions and accents when you're, I'm being serious. <laughs> On, when you're doing SNL and doing like the Australian uh, like, you know what, movie the, sketch. Well, the Australian one, I was supposed to be Bill Hader's part, the bigger part, and then we did it in read-through, and Lauren <laughs> said... Uh, Let's let you do the smaller one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? yeah, he just said it in front of everyone. Wow. That's a post midnight Couldn't sketch. Couldn't let Bill play the big guy, you play the other small one line. And I was oh. like, yeah, totally. <laughs> Why, were you not nailing the accent? I wasn't it? nailing the that's accent. Fun, that's funny, is it, too, though? If you're not yeah, nailing the accent, it's really, kind of funny. I was yeah. good for one line, and then it started falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> sounding like <laughs> Irish or Mexican Lord or something. protected you. Yes, he did. No, yeah. that's why I was You would have been out on the wire, and people would have been going, what is this on the Internet? Exactly. Good for Lauren. That's no, no, right. No, 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 no. What's your thoughts on Lauren Michaels? 
I love that guy. I really yeah. do. Yeah. After a week of doing that show, I don't think you can not love the guy because he takes really good care of you. And you get to kind of be, I mean, he's this legendary guy. All I know is my exposure to him right. mm -hmm. is this one week. So if you're the host of the show, he like takes care of you. He shepherds you through it. And he also, you get to have all these dramatic Lorne moments. Like mm. there's things that are host only moments. <laughs> really? That are so fun because like the last sketch of the show, there was supposed to be two more. And we only had room for, I was told by somebody, you're going to have to choose one sketch. Oh, wow. He'll leave it up to you because there's only one left. So then they take me into, the, somebody comes and gets me and says, come to the control room. This is while we're on the air, you know? Holy shit. And they go, go over there. And Lauren's waiting for me in the dark of the control room with his arms folded. <laughs> and I go over. Petting and, a cat. Yes. That's <laughs> yeah. what it was like. And yeah. he goes, um, he just says simply, uh, you can have one. It's your choice. <laughs> like and we I already knew holding it. a boy and a girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I already knew what he Sophie's that Sophie's about Sophie's it, there. but because he was making such a, I was I pretended I was like, oh, really thinking it out. Wow. Uh, yeah, I knew I wanted to do the, the that one. You should have said, yeah, I know. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah somebody already told me. Yeah. Not, you don't even run this place anymore. <laughs> you should have pointed to somebody in the control room and yeah. said, I'll have him. I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> I'll take that one. What was the other option? Mm. Uh, sketch where I played John Tesh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to come on? I don't know. It was, it was a tough choice because the John Tesh was really funny. It yeah, was a crazy was... bit. I ended up taking a chainsaw to a whole set and like, <laughs> destroying a set with a chainsaw. Well, they should they should film that anyway. Throw it on the oh, internet. They probably man. did a dress, right? I, yeah, they did a oh, dress okay. and it did well. So maybe they, they maybe said they, they throw might it up put there it somewhere. That'd be uh, nice. You probably and the chose kid, and they were like, oh, Well, wow. I felt bad, too, because the kid in it, this guy Tim, he was playing Dave Tesh, my brother. I don't think there was really a Dave Tesh. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, was really funny that he's new. Oh, so he, he would have gotten a time. big boost. But so was Kate, who was in him. the bar sketch. I just knew that if I licked her face on the TV, it would get... Oh, fuck yeah. That was yeah. great, dude. That was yeah. a fucking was rolling hilarious. massive laugh, which you don't see on, really on fun. live hilarious. TV that much. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a great, like, that was the, you know, a lot of stuff goes by quickly, but that was a moment I was able to, like, stop for. Was oh, it, really? Yeah. When I'm licking her face and people are going nuts and, I, and you're aware this is on live fucking television. Are you aware of that and constantly, by the way? Not n only a few moments, but that uh -huh. was one of them. Like, this is on TV right now that I'm doing this, and I can lick her face as long as I want, <laughs> and they'd have to, like, come and get me. And at one point, <laughs> I got my nose in her mouth, and I decided I'm, my goal in my head is I'm going to try to get my whole head in her mouth. <laughs> and I started pushing up into her mouth with my nose, and I felt her go, because <clears throat> I she was, like she was gagging on my nose. Dude, she would have vomited on you. That would have been the greatest moment in live TV amazing. history. Amazing. <laughs> but I started laughing right then, so I stopped. It was getting so huge laughs all up, up to that, though. I mean, the fucking oh, yeah. every line was getting a laugh. It was, yeah. The open mouth kiss, which was a little obnoxious, got a huge laugh, and then right into the tongue. Right, yeah. Jimmy, you Bill, didn't Bill, see Bill, Bill, Bill. the monologue, right? We came, no, we, we came into the dress uh, I watched it, it was with so uh, That was the first thing Jay said when Lou walked in. Uh, just an amazing One of the monologue. best ever. Because One of the best thanks, ever. Wow. From being on the inside, what what people don't realize is, for some reason, it's what they work on last. Like, yeah. you, you get, like, Sally Field, and all day you practice sketches. And then, like, on Saturday, they're mm -hmm. still trying to bang out a monologue, like, at 4 yeah. in the afternoon. And for some... It's, and how good is, you know... That's you why get, the monologue is always terrible. It's always terrible. Well, it's like, really hey, important. waka waka. <laughs> you realize when you do it how important it is because you get... when I never thought of this. I always thought of each sketch as its own compartmentalized thing. But when you host the show, you, you want they need to hook into you as a person. Because uh -huh. when you're in the sketches, whether you're playing a, whatever, a mountain man or whatever it is, <laughs> they have to... Be they have to like you right. to get into the sketch. I didn't think of that. Mm. Yeah, so that opening is pretty important. Yeah, to kind yeah, of yeah. I mean, in right. the, the dress rehearsal, I the, the monologue I did like twice the amount to so they could look at it all and decide what to do, mm. and it went well. But then the first sketch I did after the monologue was a sketch that didn't air. Uh, where I play a drawing teacher with kids, and I'm really mean. <laughs> and they hated me for it. And really? So, wow. Yeah, it really it kind of fucked me for the rest of the show. I really? I don't think you want to yeah. say rape in your monologue. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rape a child. Uh, no, that might no, work I, below 14th Street, but up here... Uh, exactly. Dating? I call a little girl a whore in that sketch. That's oh, hilarious! Yeah, Come yeah, on! Yeah. No, you would have uh, liked it. It was funny. Yeah. Maybe after the news... It's like I'm, I'm, I'm doing... I'm, it's like a thing where I'm saying you can draw anything with your imagination. Mm -hmm. And like I draw three circles, and I go, this could be anything you want. Maybe it's a robot ant. 
And some kid goes, maybe it's balloons. And I go, it's a robot ant. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was pretty clear it's a robot ant. <laughs> and then later I decided, <laughs> and I start kicking the kids out one by one. And then at the end, I go, maybe it's balloons. This could be a pink balloon. And this girl goes, it could be red. And I go, it's pink, you little whore. Oh, <laughs> wow. Shit. That's great. That's awesome. uh, and then I get arrested by the cops. But then the next sketch, everyone was like, boo. Wow. <laughs> I'm, so mean. I'm surprised it got cut and not moved just after the second song. Well, I had a chance to defend it. Like, Lauren took the card off the board and kind of held it. Like, this is, he <laughs> said, this is vulnerable. And oh, wow. I, and I Louis, said, you know what? Just get rid of it. We're leaving our flank open with this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you were in the room. When they pick the sketches, no yeah. one else ever is. It's you, and who's the head writer now? Uh, Seth Meyer. And there was, like, there was a decent amount of people in there. It was, uh, um, what's his Kenny name? Amon? Steve Higgins. Higgins. And uh, a few other people whose names I, don't, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Were there sketches that got picked that you went, whoa, I'm not sure why No, I, I mean, the read-through was really strong. Yeah. There was a lot of good material, so I liked everything they picked. There was only two bits that I hated that I, I mean, I just don't like personally, mm -hmm. and they didn't, I didn't, the, the thing you learn after a long time is you don't have to fight stuff right when you see it. Yeah. Sometimes things get taken care of on their own, and if you fought them and then, the, you know what I mean? So there was two sketches I never liked. They were on the board. And I didn't say a word about them. You mean they were on the board? Yeah. Okay. And then after dress, they got cut. And Are you happy? It didn't matter. That. Very happy. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I only torpedoed one sketch, and I felt bad because the writer was a nice guy, and he was sitting right there, and I was saying, this is not that funny. It's Whoa. not satisfying. Like, I fought against one. What was it? It wasn't on, so... Are you, but but you had to actually come out and say like I guess it's the only one that I said something about because I just didn't I I didn't think I was doing a good job of it too so mm. what was the anyway. gist of the, the one you torpedoed? I don't I, the guy's a nice guy I don't oh, want to okay. fuck his life up oh, fuck it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you what you were, I want to ask Lil what he was thinking right before they uh, introed you yeah your heart must have been racing yeah what goes through your fucking mind well. Uh, it's really emotional because it's a whole week and I, I everything I've I, to me uh, everything I've ever done that's new I always uh -huh. I always go through <laughs> what did I draw I mean, sure. Jimmy, has, <laughs> water. Like, water over. Jimmy has to go ha ha <laughs> as you do as Lou is trying to open up his fucking heart for everybody <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> no, thank God I don't, what the, don't worry about what fell who gives a fuck <laughs> It's just a remote. <laughs> some, it's so, hilarious. So what you're, a bunch of jerks. So you're waiting <laughs> to go really on. Emotional click. <laughs> so you're waiting to go on camera uh, for the first time. Okay, so you do all this shit and you doubt yourself like eight, ten times during the week. Like this, I'm not. I'm going to suck at this. There's oh, a lot man. of process and it's exhausting. And then you finally get to then it's finally you're standing behind this door and the music's playing and there's Don Pardo's voice oh, saying, Jesus. you know, and. Uh, there's this woman named Jenna who's the stage director, and she's uh, getting ready to, you know, she's really serious and counting oh, down. Oh, shit. That's yeah. the and worst. I, and I said, uh, Jenna, like I, like I was urgent. I said, Jenna. And she goes, what? And I scared the shit out of her because we're two seconds uh, right. to me going out. You can't do anything. You're, you're, yeah. And I'm talking to her like there's a problem, and she goes, What? And I said, I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. Oh, nice. <laughs> and she goes, yes, you are. And then she, opened, then she pushes the door open. Asshole. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. But that's how I felt. Like I, I mean, because I'm 45 now, so uh, anything that you let go, that you let go past without enjoying it, you're a real turd. Right. You feel like an asshole. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I just, she's standing there. I wanted to tell somebody, I'm fucking doing this right now. <laughs> that's so fucking So cool. I came out, I was really emotional, and I was really happy. Right. Yeah, when I came out, so that's you, awesome. Sorry. You change like being forty-five. You're saying like you want to you want to enjoy everything as you're doing it because it's like sometimes with an experience, it's like so fucking tense and nerve wracking. You don't even enjoy it. You just right. you you like okay, I'll look back on this and it will be fun instead of fucking liking enjoy it. The moment. Right. You have to stop and go. This may not, I may never do this again. It's amazing I'm getting to do this. Yeah. Did you feel totally? prepared after week did you feel like okay i'm good i i don't feel not like completely and no. i also i was so excited it, it's not a helpful emotion to be happy <laughs> yeah because i sputtered the first few lines of the monologue i was too excited and oh, it wow. fucked me up because like the first joke i said was um the power's back on so we can go back to using way too much electricity and 
uh, I've done this before. I was so excited that I'm trying to say everything too soon. Uh, so I yeah. said, the power's back on, which way, which means we can way, we can use oh, way too much electricity. Because oh. the word way was the first laugh. Right. So I said way like six times before it was time to <laughs> the say way it's back on because I was yeah. too happy. Yes. Way. Yes. You said curds. <laughs> yeah. Curds and way, 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 way. And it, it got nothing. And I rushed past it because it didn't get a laugh to the next oh, no. thing. Uh, wow. But the th that, and I'm on fucking live TV, so you're thinking you fucked up the first joke. And now you're subsequently fucking up the second one. Ooh. And this could be a black hole that sucks the entire <laughs> monologue in it. Unless you, you know, when they burn a uh, uh, forest to stop a forest fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to get a firewall in here somewhere. Right. And I, don't, I was having that thought somewhere in the I know monologue. where your firewall was. Where was it? Because I... Uh, when old lady falls down and you see her inappropriate parts? Yes, that was that the was firewall. That was the exact moment where everybody went, fuck, okay, you, everyone got off the hook. Yes. That was it, right? That was the first laugh that made me feel normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I oh, was you like, settled I'm right in. Okay. You settled I'm right so in. so goddamn okay. funny, that story. Yeah. Do they, Thanks, talk, do they talk to you about not breaking the fourth wall? Because I'm always amazed no one on SNL ever breaks that wall. You mean during the sketches? Yeah. Do they say to you, don't do it? Or do you, or does it just... Why you, would you look at the fucking camera in the middle of the sketch? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, nobody even does it, ironically, if something bombs. Like, nobody, nobody oh, does it. He broke the... I did a little bit the with, with, with the mountain sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Because I fucked up so a many things. Times he broke the I wall. made so many mistakes because there was all these marks I was supposed to hit. Oh. And every time we rehearsed it, I didn't go to any of them. And then they would say really nicely, We really, we have no shots if you don't move. The whole shot. Well, it was like a big master. The the big whole, master. The whole, they needed me to move a down. One shot. The whole sketch. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because if I had moved, they the would have had a better shot. So. <laughs> No one had any coverage. They wrote it on the cards in huge letters. They wrote, they wrote, step down. <laughs> oh, wow. And they said, we're going to do this for you so you don't have to worry about it. And I was like, thank you. Yeah, no, that's cool. I'll see that. And then after like three lines, I realized I haven't moved. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> totally fucked. <laughs> but your cool beard looked great. And then, the yeah, I had this yeah, crazy who cares? hair. He looks, he looks good with long hair. He looks awesome. That's what man. we said. There, there's nothing. We're like, damn, Louis looks good with long hair. There was hair. no weak <laughs> thing. There was no, nah. like, there's always like a hunk of shit, like 10 <laughs> feet where you're like, Ugh, where you're like, God. And you're like, now after that shit sketch, I got to go to commercial. Then there's a fucking band I don't know after that yeah. bullshit. Yeah. There was no bullshit. It was one of the better episodes. I've ever seen. Oh, and, thanks, mm, man. And after the one yeah. uh, sketch, you laughed. So he did break, uh, oh, can break I say down the, 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 wall. Hotel the hotel sketch at the end. There was a huge laugh, and I, I kind of liked I, that. I want to make a point well, real quick. Hold on. What oh, was sorry. that about? The kid Bobby Moynihan, who was, yeah. that's his name, right? Yeah. I think, mm. uh, who was in the sketch with me. He's a really nice guy, and I don't know. I just liked him, and we were doing it all week, you know? Right. That whole thing was dependent on me keeping that rhythm going. It was another one where I just kept. Uh, just misplacing little words and fucking up, and I felt like I made so many mistakes. Uh, but I don't know. And I was having a good time by then. I was really, I was really enjoying the yeah. show by then. Yeah, the laugh was great. And I knew we were close to the end, and I was feeling all this cool relief and stuff, you know. So, <laughs> so you kind of just let it out. Yeah, Seven dollars so or one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, yeah. And also, they had told me this thing right before we went on. There's going to be a print, a sound of a printer. And you're going to hear it jam, and then that's when you say it jammed. And no I couldn't sound. hear it. I couldn't no. hear anything. Oh, shit. It was on the air, but I couldn't. I was just it standing wasn't. there waiting, and there was like this long <laughs> pause on fucking live television. And so I just, I just picked a moment to say the printer jammed, and then we went to, we went away with really no laugh at the end. So oh. I'm just pounding on this fake keyboard, and I yeah. looked at Bobby, and we both just started crying. Out. I liked it. It was a real moment. Uh, 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 do I'll you just say, yeah. Let me just say this real quick. Whenever a comic that we kind of know or know of hosts SNL, all of us in this room, and you have to fucking admit it, mm -hmm. a party of roots against the fucking guy. Oh, holy shit. shit. Louis is the only guy in my <laughs> lifetime that oh. walked through those doors, and I was with him. Like a, like a, like a guy. Opie said it when I was here the other day. Like like watching Louis, it was like a, a, like one of not, you know like one of my guys. Like I'm a fucking coach, but like one of our guys. Well, like a guy really that are, are fucking oh, yeah, yeah. from the stoop. It was awesome. It was like the moment you the mo and fucking Don Pardo, ladies and gentlemen, 
you know, Paul is sure. <laughs> you know, no. the party is going to be like, I hope this fucking tanks. <laughs> But with Louie, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Yes, we were standing in the phone booth by a car going, they're going to make this fucker. <laughs> yeah, they're going to make it. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's gonna gonna be it. And then you walk through the curtains and there's just a bunch of chairs stacked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Who would come out of this empty? <laughs> oh, Dark no. uh, he must be, like, actually nice. He's gone. Right? And uh, there's nothing anybody could do about it. That's <laughs> that. Yeah, and that's that. We yeah, he, he spun it on a line. He's a redheaded you know, cunt and there's nothing to be done. It was payback for Joe Dixo leaving his stage manager. Real <laughs> greaseball shit. <laughs> we were so happy you know, for you, though, man. Yeah. In my house, we were so fucking happy. I got... I want to ask you about the week because yeah. it's legendary. How how many hours you put in, and, really and, and people sleep there. Like yeah. what what was your experience? Well, I I knew uh, uh, it's all about energy management, you know. Mm -hmm. And my show is really hard. The the the, the yeah. show I do on FX is hard work, so I'm used to it. What show is that? What show is that? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have yeah. today. God, yeah. we got to talk about the Emmy. Uh, we got so show? much. I know, want to talk about Emmys and a, and a book you that went Emmys, bad. Yeah. You won Emmys, you animal. I won a couple, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, was... the week on SNL. Uh, then we'll on so, the so you you uh, you learn some stuff after a while. If when you're young, you can just keep regenerating. You don't lose power. <laughs> yeah. It just keeps coming. You know, you can really fuck yourself up. Like kids that are on the football team in high school and they smoke cigarettes and stuff, yeah, and amazing. they get fucked up, and the next day they're 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 gods. <laughs> and at 45, you, I literally knew I was capable of throwing the thing away if I wasn't. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. So a lot. There are little uh, simple things like I didn't put any sugar in my bloodstream for the week. Like I didn't eat any. Really? Yeah, no sugar. Just like a lot of fruit, a lot of water. Um, kept my and and every time I was, I loved being there. And there's a lot of really great guys in the show, Bill Hader and and Fred Armisen, that are old friends of mine. And uh, so I'd find myself in the hallway talking to a couple of guys and making jokes and laughing. And then I'd tell myself, stop it. Go back to your room and sit down. Just wow. stop doing that because that's a useless, expensive energy. Because <laughs> you, really you work, work really hard all week and none of it's on television. <laughs> You're pushing and working and working and working and none of it has, you still haven't done a single fucking thing. <laughs> Until 11.30 on Saturday, you have accomplished nothing. Wow. So it's, <laughs> wow. Yeah, so yeah. I drank a lot of hot tea and shit to keep my throat nice. It would be great and, if you snapped uh, during the monologue and just said all of this. Like if you're... <laughs> 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 Next time, Jimmy. Yeah. Like what? if you just started saying that. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is just looking at him. Like, what happened? Uh, is he okay? <laughs> Is it, uh, is ladies it? and gentlemen, Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the black checks checking me out. <laughs> By the way, a lot of people have talked about the moment you hear Don Pardo say your name. Nobody hears Don Pardo say. You can't hear it. No, huh? No, oh, you really? get the band right in your face, oh, and true. you just see they your just someone you just starts screaming, yeah. "Go, go, go!" You don't hear <laughs> so she was. So super everybody's lying when they say intense, they, that, that they, lady, uh, Jenna. When Joe, yeah, she's great, though. She's a very mama kind of person. When Joe Dixo did it from, like, 77 on, mm -hmm. he was, like, really old. He would go, like, 30 seconds away. And then every Saturday, he'd go, five seconds! <laughs> it was, like, this little old man. He thought he was having a heart. And everybody would laugh, and it was all relaxed. So it's interesting now. There's, like, a like a task yeah. masker doing it. She's good. And how many hours a, a day are you putting in at the offices? Long, and well, the first... The first, uh, the Tuesday is the first big day. I was there till three in the morning. Ooh. And then the next day, it depends on what you're shooting and stuff. Like the Lincoln thing that we did was mm. pretty easy. That was awesome. Those guys did all of that. I mean, I didn't, uh, I didn't write any of that. I didn't, I did, I felt like you wrote stand up. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he, Seth Myers wrote it. It was his idea, the whole thing. And he, he even gave me the premises for the stand up. Like he threw ideas up to me and, Wow, um, they really did it, cool. and they've got their their film crew like researched what cameras we used and on the show, and they matched everything exactly. And uh, Daryl said they wear the same clothes too. Like when they do a sketch about a politician, they wear the exact same suits. Like they're really, uh, I almost yeah, the said exact again. The woman, uh, uh, <laughs> eighty, who played my my uh, who played Mary Todd Lincoln, she was wearing a dress that is at the Met Museum. That's like they were really uptight about the dress. She was funny. She was funny. But her dress is like a national treasure. The research Holy department shit. on SNL yeah, it's crazy that what is they... so ridiculous. Like you go, there's just a group. When I, I don't know when Louis obviously is a way better story. But real quickly, there's like two desks of research people, and you go, hey, I need footage inside Apollo 18. 
Yeah. And yeah, they I literally, like, in two hours, you, there's, like, nine VHS tapes and still... From the top, and you're like, how did you find this? There was no Apollo 18. That's why I just pulled that out of my ass. Yeah, how are they going to get footage of that? I don't think so. <laughs> Easy, Chip. <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on the Emmys, too, man. Thanks. Man. You oh, want how many? Yeah. You want two? You said Emmys, too. T-W-O. <laughs> no, no, I meant comma T-O-O. -O. I know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, decide to take a year off before that or after it? Uh, before the Emmys. Oh, you said I'm just tired. It till after. Okay. Well, I wanted more time to do the show because I do it. I turn in episodes I know are not as good as they could be because they're just too. It's too fast. Mm. So I'm not taking that much time off. I'm taking like two months off, and then I'm starting to work. I usually start working on the show in December, um, and I'm going to start working on it in September. So I'm getting a huge amount more time. Mm. Oh, to yeah. To do the same amount of work. Oh, okay. So it'll just be better. Right. That's all. Wow. I also wanted to stop for a bit. I got to also mm. ask, uh, look at the boat. What happened with your boat? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was all of a sudden like, wow, well, Louis like a tabloid guy. Yeah, a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. Louis C.K. in his boat. Yeah. Just hanging out what waiting the fuck? to be rescued. I got stuck in the mud. <laughs> uh, new Black Crows album. It was my first day. <laughs> yes. I, it was my first day in the Stuck in boat. the mud. Oh. I just bought it. And I spent one day on it with some guy who showed me the specifics of the boat. But it's this big fucking boat with two engines, right. and it's really complicated <laughs> to drive. And I took I put my I took my girls out on it. And as we were pulling out of the marina, my daughter was like, "How do you know how to do this?" Oh shit! <laughs> and I was like, "It's not that big a deal." Like I was defensive with my ten year old. It's not that big a deal. I can do this. <laughs> and we went around Manhattan, and I got in all this shit I had no qualifications That's to deal with. That's a crazy waterway, because yes. the currents... Especially on these sides. Especially, what do they, what do they the, call that fucking... It's an actuary. I, Don't they call it devil's something? It's like something... Uh, all the waters. Hell, uh, yeah. Hell's, Hell's uh, Gate. Hell's Gate. That's yeah, right. Yeah. All right the water on the converges top. right there. They should call it Watergate. where the rivers kind of split. <laughs> the, the, sound. the Long Island Sound collides with the Harlem right, River. Right, right. That's it. Yeah. It gets a little dicey over it's there. It's really Don't bad. say the Harlem River around Anthony today. No. <laughs> I'm all right. A little sensitive. It's been a renaissance up there. It's Don't say yeah. Muddy River. moment when we were in that cauldron and we just smashed, like the boat felt like it was coming apart. And Boom! my, my seven-year-old screamed oh, and her sister held her eyes, like cl closing them. <laughs> It was like, what putting, the fuck are you doing? It was really doing? stressful. Really? Were you but panicking? Then we get, then we get know, no, I mean, it's nervy, there, but. It was making that smack sound on yes. the water. The bow goes like, bam, bam. It was really bad. It's, it's where the Harlem bang. River meets. Yeah. The Long Island Sound. The, the Long Island Sound, the East River, the Harlem River. It's in such a way you've never seen before. Yeah. It's, it's crazy yeah, it's to go all, through and that And you get whirlpools. Pick up by Yankee Stadium? You get all kinds of like No, no, on the east side. It's fucking far from Yankee Stadium. Not far from there. Oh, yeah. Well, it is. Yeah, Yankee Stadium's on the east side. It's south of there. navigate that. It's just north of. Uh, Roosevelt Island. Yeah, right. correct. And are you thinking I just want somebody who knows how to do this here right now with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we went up to the Harlem uh, River, which is very, uh, it's, it's awesome. like glass. It's yeah. really nice. And wow. so now everybody, we got through it and we're really happy. And I, I've got uh, frozen burritos and macaroni and cheese. So we're going to pull over, throw the anchor, and we're going to make lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I find this little cove, this mm. sweet little cove. It's nice. And, uh, in Harlem? There's, yeah, and there's people uh, in a park next to it, and it's just a nice place. So I pull in there, and the boat just stops moving all of a sudden. <clears throat> and uh, everything starts beeping. Because <laughs> the the depth boat is gauge well, the, the yeah, the boat is cooled by water in that it's sitting in. So yeah. now it's just sucking mud up into the. Oh, it's this fuck. this uh, th uh, two hour old engines <laughs> are now <laughs> packed with mud. <laughs> <laughs> and I just shut oh, everything off because I know everything's overheating. Oh man! And my daughters go, "What's going? What's going on?" And I said, I turned to them and I said, "You need not to ask me any questions for a little while." Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And the park ranger calls over to me from the shore, and he says, you ain't going anywhere. It's low tide. You're, you're going to be stuck there for a long time. And uh, I'm like, no, 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 it's all right. It's all right. I'm trying not to let my daughters hear this. And I call, I, I, I oh, call uh, the Coast Guard, whatever, the Channel 16. I'm like, anybody can tow me out of here. And, <laughs> and these cops show up on the boat. <laughs> Uh, and they're like 50 yards away, and they're not going to come anywhere near me. No. So. <laughs> and they said, yeah, you're going to have to wait till like you're high tide. Yeah, it's around 1 o'clock, and, uh, and I'm on the radio with the cops, and they go, you're going to have to wait till high tide. And I said, when's that? And they said, maybe midnight. Tonight. Oh, oh, no. My, both my daughters start crying. <laughs> <laughs> did you stay the whole time, or did you get out? 
We could, you can't. There was no way to get out because in, in a few a minutes Zodiac. we were surrounded by mud, and it was like quicksand. Like I put a a stick in it, and it just fell into the oh, mud. Fuck. Were you embarrassed? <laughs> fucking <laughs> very. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best questions I've ever heard. Quick, you. salient, succinct. Oh, man. I was really embarrassed. <laughs> so you were pretty much just like, no more water. Your yeah. boat is sitting in muck. Mud. Yeah. In mud. Really And gross. you're waiting for the tide to come back. In. Were yeah, you afraid we, that it was just going to be stuck in the mud and I was afraid not of that. come up? I was afraid. My daughter was like, Hot, what if we like keel over? What if we start tipping over? I'm like, that can't happen. And in my head, I'm like, that could totally happen. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and the cops said uh, well, they would go get us food because we couldn't cook any of the food now because it needs the generator to <laughs> run the fucking oven. How would they get it to you? Well, that was a, a big deal because they went, they went and got us food. The cops, they bought us a whole chicken and some rice. rice. Really oh, nice, nice guys. Then they come back and now there's a huge expanse of mud between <laughs> us and them. And, the food. and they go, we don't know how you're going to get this. They put it in a garbage bag. And I start throwing a line to them, but it's not making it. Of course All these not. people on the shore, everybody knows who I am now. Oh, no. Oh. So there's people oh, no. at, in the park and the shore who are just on a rail just watching me. <laughs> and I throw, I'm throwing this, I, like I've tied a pot to the rope, and I throw it, <laughs> and it gets hilarious. about halfway there, and I'm pulling it back, and I'm covered in mud. Because every course. time the rope comes back, it's totally covered in mud, and I have to get the mud off so it's not heavy. <laughs> Every time I go to throw it, all the people on the side, half of them are going, well, pull it for you, Louie, you can do it. <laughs> and then I, when I miss, they go, oh, man, that dude sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing left field for the Yankees. Yeah, it's totally oh, the shit. Yankee Stadium Louis. crowd. Louis. People booed. People Louis. Oh, wow. And oh. I couldn't get it. So finally the, the <laughs> cops pulled over a guy who was fishing. And they used his uh, rod to throw me a line. They cast a line. They cast a weight over oh, me. Oh, nice. So you're able to I tie tied that. it to a rope. Right. Oh, shit. They pulled it. And then I had to pull dinner onto the boat. I was so soaked in mud and sweat. <laughs> totally. Then it was chicken mole after that. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Your kids, had your kids calmed down by that point? They were bit? great. My kids yeah. were amazing. Yeah. Then what happens at midnight? Uh, we the... waited and waited. Once in a while, like it started raining a little bit, and yeah. I heard some from the darkness in the park, some kid go, Hey, Louis, CK, it's raining out now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy like asshole. <laughs> but the, kid, the guys at the marina where I keep the boat, they're really cool guys, and they sent some kid, some young guy, uh, and in a boat, and they just dropped him in the water, and he swam to us. Jesus. Crazy wow. kid. And he came on board with me and helped me get it out. Once the water came up, we used the... Uh, bow thruster to shove the boat oh, you got a little bow thruster on yeah. there were you feeling it rise as the water's coming like oh god no, the boat wasn't moving because oh. the water was coming up and the boat was just sitting there wow. stuck in the mud so that's why we used the bow thrusters or above Shake the mud. it loose wow so we shook the boat around whoa and, and it worked and now, at one point the tide was starting to go down again and the no. guy that was with me said it's your call but we could put it in we could turn the engines on and Put in reverse and try to get, get out of the here. world. What'd you do? Yeah, it was like Apollo 13 because everything had been off for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and now we're yeah. like, he says, we have 10 seconds of battery. Just it was all this stuff. Oh, yes. Shit. So we fired up and just put it in reverse yes. and mud just. Oh, it yeah. was crazy. We don't have enough lems to get Louie out of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Any damage to the boat? Uh, uh, it's pride. Propeller was, yeah. <laughs> My little, little uh, prowler was bent a little. Two mm. hours. But now uh, the hurricane threw, threw my boat uh, <laughs> oh. into a street somewhere. The, <laughs> are, you just, are you serious? Yeah. The hurricane fucking you told your boat. I don't know. They said that nobody. I was they haven't the found it where they had it. They said all boats came off their blocks <laughs> because the surge came up under the boats. Fucking Captain Louie. And, uh, and Jesus. they said all boats were damaged. I think God is telling you not to have a boat, though. Yeah, exactly. No, you wow. got to find another hobby. What are you, you going to find another hobby? Somalia? Jesus. <laughs> 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 now, Louie, didn't you have a, a depth uh, gauge indicate where that would go like yeah. meh, when you get in shallow water? Yeah. The uh, the the mud happens so suddenly. You have to oh. know the waters. You and you need yeah, to look yeah. at your charts. Right. You can't just the look charts. at the depth finder and the tributaries. Yes. You have to know them as well. <laughs> the depth finder eddies. tells you what the depth is directly directly under, under you. your boat. Right. Yeah. So you can tell just, you what's coming. You'll just go up on it and then it'll. If you knew it was coming, right. he wouldn't be near Harlem. 
<laughs> you were just going out there trying to catch Walter, and uh, you know you fucking you and Billy hit the rock <laughs> uh, on know? Golden Pond. Oh, <laughs> when fucking oh, Catherine Hepburn God. comes out with her fucking head uh, boogieing. Oh, oh my God. God! Wow, that is fucked up, Louie. It was a funny. Day. Well, my my girls went through this whole thing with me uh, as we came into the. We we went down the Hudson River to go home at midnight. And I said to my daughter, we have to come back out on the boat so you can have a positive experience. And right. She, and she said, we just did have a positive experience. Oh, that's Aww. nice. She Plus, they got it. to stay up late. Yeah. yeah well, that's... they don't like staying up late. They're no. 10 and 7. Yeah. They just want to go to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there a downstairs on the boat? I got a 10-year-old. He's yeah. like, stares at the TV all night. Does he? Yeah, well, he's he a boy. Yeah, I guess after Colin. Yeah. Mm. Stares at the TV all yeah. night. Mm. Well, why, don't we, uh, why don't we take a break? Louis C.K.'s here. Jay Watching Moore. Watching C-SPAN like, I'm, like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Moore is at Governor's starting Friday. All right? All right. And I'm in Texas. Friday through Sunday. And Jimmy's at the Addison Improv in Texas. I'm at Governor two Connolly's. Weeks. In two weeks. In two weeks. <laughs> 15, 15. <laughs> He gave, sorry, he gave me the cue. I didn't know you were done. Well, didn't you see my lips moving? Yeah, just, I, 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 so you'll be I, in the Anthony show. We're blowing up. I yelled at E-Rock. I'm like, come back. What are you doing? It's fucking 9.35 already. He's like, well, they want material. 9.35. We go, we go as long as we want. Yeah. Go as long as you want, honey. I got to go back home and power my house back up. Every morning when I leave, I power it down. I turn off the generator. Beep. And then when I go home, yeah, and that's exactly what it's like. Five Beep. seconds to uh, total shutdown. Burr. I, I was telling him I went through a generator the other day, Saturday, my generator just fucking died. For sure. And it's like, you're sitting inside, and you get used to the, the sound of the generator, and then it just goes, oh. <laughs> It's quiet, and the lights go out, and you're all fucking back in the, just it, it, like a caveman again. Mm -hmm. But I think Louie had the best point about you, Anthony. Of I, all people, I'm, how are you not like Mr. Generator when the I'm storm's work, rolling? He's out. hooking that up. It. He's gonna have a. Th you're gonna have a thousand fuel, a thousand gallon uh, fuel tank. It's a, like you're it's a doomsday a, scenario guy, right? Thousand gallon like fuel like tank, by the way. That's good for how like with three days. Uh, no, that's the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, don't think, I think no one wanted to, so they were just refused to take the moment of the hurricane to realize how much fuel we use. Yeah. Like, it's amazing. People downtown, really cool, green people downtown, um, didn't just refuse to notice. It's like <laughs> yes. I'm, people are sitting with generators like in the middle of the Greenwich Village. There's a generator. It's fucking. Sh it's just pissing through gas <laughs> yeah. to 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 charge up three iPhones. <laughs> Like, yeah, when yeah. you plug your iPhone into the wall it, so that you can do really cool apps about how green you are and how liberal you are, you are burning fucking tons of gallons yes. of Arab fuel. Of fuel. It's <laughs> so fucking, it's just exactly. hypocritical. Arabs. And you, you yeah. also realize when there's no uh, fuel at gas stations and then there's uh, one opens up, the long lines yep. that are out there, you're... you're Start realizing how much fuel people go through when right. all the gas stations are open. That's right. It's a huge amount. It's crazy. It's insane. I am in a, f a position now where today um, I'm dipping below a quarter tank of gas in my truck. Uh, I only have one more jug of gas for the generator. Mm -hmm. And my whole existence for the past eight fucking days has been, where do I get fuel today? Yep. It's like the road warrior. You're just constantly was trying this, to find fuel. Was this storm, this was worse than Katrina, right? Well, no, 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 no. no. The storm, no. not the repercussions. The storm itself. The storm itself. I didn't think so. No, no. Katrina it was a was Frankenstorm. A category five Katrina or four. was a category three when it hit oh, three. land. Yeah, this was a which one, but it was unheard of for it's land. It's where it hit. Uh, yeah, and they were underwater, like they're below sea level. Their whole fucking the city. they started yeah. below sea level. So yeah, I was, I yeah, was curious yeah, yeah. if Katrina was worse or this one was worse. No, just the Katrina storm itself. Worse. When you look at I a use fucking... my hands to show you guys what I mean. By yeah, but it was yeah. a right. separate storm. <laughs> Katrina when you look at the Superdome filled with people shitting themselves. But that's and then the repercussions. You know, I at the actual with weather. A generator. The no. actual <laughs> weather. Yeah. Which one weather? Well, Staten Island is. Staten Island got fucking trash. Somebody answer my questions. I'm tipping this Katrina. I'm telling you, Katrina was worse. It was a three or four. And. This yeah. one was maybe a, 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 a one or a, uh, a tropical storm. It kept getting yeah, downgraded were, and then yeah. back up. But there were other factors that made this, as they're calling it now, the superstorm. Right. That's a Frankenstorm. You can't just say that it was a, 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 no, a, it's a, different story. a, a one hurricane. It's it's the location was crazy because between Long Island and Jersey, the water just backed up in there. Yep. There was nowhere for it to go. Just pushing that water. And, and just went <laughs> everywhere over the barrier islands and everything. Just this storm was worse. This one was worse. His boat hit mud. 
<laughs> Could have used a this. A the flip. storm was worse. This one was because it happened to me, right? Because yeah. you yeah. were directly involved. Yeah. Really, it, this Fucking was worse. Cancel two shows. Guys got two Emmys. Guys got two Emmys. Yeah. Yeah. He's sitting here with egg in his beard, <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't found Lou's uh, boat yet. Nah, yeah. I haven't found you the want boat. people to find your boat for you? What's that? I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you tell? I don't know if you will. I'll just What's ask though. Your boat? Yeah, yeah. The question. name of the boat and, and how much it cost you that it's now just oh, somewhere. No. I know he'll answer one of those. I know. I don't think it'll do the. Yeah, it was name, the name of the boat was Dogs. Dogs with dogs. a G or right, with, a, with an cost. S or an Z. It was when? with an S or a Z. No, <laughs> so fuck you. Meant by... you said G first. Yeah, I did. I did but I how many? G A W G Z. Dogs. How many? How, how many foot? Uh, Thirty-four feet. Uh, Thirty-four. We know about. Uh, I got a pretty good. That's a fucking big nut. I got a pretty good. Wow, that's, that's a big nut. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what did you? Why dogs? Because uh, somebody called me and said they're they're shipping it right now, and someone's standing there with a spray can. <laughs> you gotta and come he, up with a gotta name. Gotta come up with a name now. <laughs> and I was busy, and I said, "Ah, dogs." Oh wow, <laughs> wow. And that's it. Works. And I yeah. forgot I did it. And when I went to get, take the boat out of where Lindenhurst, I'm like, "Oh, what did I say?" That? <laughs> yeah, I know. A better name would have been "I'm a non-captain cunt." <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do? You pick it up on a, on a trailer hitch, or they ship it to where trailer you want? Hitch. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It was being oh, kept in. Uh, it's a little big for. A, oh, it was being kept in Jersey, <laughs> Jersey City. To back, okay. back down they, a fucking you know. slip. Yeah, a fucking. Yeah, you don't. Uh, the you river. don't launch that. The ramp. On, son. You take it down to the local boat ramp at let's, Ashroken. Let's, let's catch, yeah. no, let's catch some sunnies. Happening. Yeah, some sunnies. The bluegills are all over the place. Who knows where the bass are, right, kid? Snappers. Yeah, with your your girlfriend and cut off shorts pretending to help right, while you're yeah. launching it. So you're cranking that up. I don't know what to just all do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow, that's fucking, uh, that's that's a pretty big size boat for your first boat. Yeah, I mean, I've I mean, had bad. smaller boats. Oh, like you have? Little, little motor boats and stuff. Yeah. I never had a thing like that. that. Two engines, you gotta fucking no, work No, it's got a spinning, it's got radar. Right, oh, right. Nice. <laughs> that spinny thing is cool yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Everything but a mud detector. <laughs> <laughs> Everything but a competent uh, user. <laughs> Yeah, in the hands of an asshole, a total <laughs> worthless piece of fiberglass. Uh, but it was in the post, I think. It was uh, funny. And that's yeah, a, it yeah. was. We that's saw the better, pictures, uh, and we're like, oh, yeah. no. It's a better story, oh. though. It's, it's, so, it's like, you know, I had is. a great trip around Manhattan. Who cares? Yeah. I got stuck in the mud. That's, that's a exactly great story, right. man. Beach I'm really uh, fans on the fence like that. Yelling yeah. at you? That's right. <laughs> Seems so. Lucy right. Gate starting to rain now. <laughs> you yeah, should have yeah, bought a robot like a little aunt. kid, Thanks. like a little Puerto Rican kid. Hey, Louis C.K. He didn't know, like, somebody told him that, <laughs> yeah. who that was. Uh. <laughs> it's starting to rain. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks should, you should lot. rename the boat to Follies. Ah, uh, that's a good one. <laughs> Jesus. Now we're supposed to have more shit today, which... Uh, when does that yeah, shit start? Uh, Soon? Uh, uh, yeah, like fucking right now? this afternoon. Nah. It's already getting a little it's gusty out there. Today, it's to uh, 50, 60 mile an hour winds coming back. I'm kind of glad they didn't turn my fucking power on because it just would have gone out today. It, 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 my power goes out constantly. But it's going to take something like six months to put this generator in because I need all kinds of yeah, fucking permits time. and shit. It's for next year. Yeah. And then they got to bury something that's akin to a submarine mm -hmm. in, in, for the fuel, and then uh, truck in this giant generator, tie it into my house. But then, it, when when the power goes out, the entire and I mean everything, I could turn every single electrical device on in my house, and this handles it. So how long does the full uh, tank last, though? Uh, two minutes, three minutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Couple weeks, maybe. The, that's no, much. it's uh, at full blast. I would assume a thousand gallons of liquid Less propane. Someday, our, an archaeologist yeah. is going to go through your neighborhood, like yeah. thousands of years from now, and they're going to yeah. find your house with those, that tank, that thousand gallon tank, yeah. and be like, "This must have been the king of the whole. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. man must have been the ruler." This, but they're going to find a skeleton alone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> He was very proud of his various weapons. He's surrounded by them. Yes. Yes, his subjects all left him before the invasion, like leaves falling from a tree. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, uh, some of Long Island has already lost power. Oh, already? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Watch That's this. coming in Just uh, by a few me. people. Just, right. to, just to shove it up my ass for well, governors. That, that's oh, where we were fuck. born and raised, and every time the wind blows, the fucking power goes. See, I'm out. from yeah. Jersey, and every single terrible. fucking time. Why is that? Why wouldn't you guys have a more? Because they don't cut don't down the know. trees and the, a the bunch wires of Italians are above ground. can't get together yeah. and go. This is what we're gonna do about the power. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad, bad week for Staten Island. 
people. Yeah, Staten Island. They Long don't Island. Eat. They got nothing. Yeah. Staten Island. I'm going there fucked. to do a, a couple of shows at the St. George, I think, this Saturday before Thanksgiving. This oh, yeah. place called the St. George Theater. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I'm going to do Not two no shows there. Oh, I nice. think we're going to give half the tickets to people locally away. So that oh, that's they can good. Come. Yeah. And then the other half for you can do that money. when you're a big shot. It's the best you medicine. So you get to do. Shot. I'm handing out my CDs if anybody wants them. <laughs> <laughs> to make you feel better about your own lives. Here, I actually put this out and thought it was good. <laughs> Jimmy goes, I'm handing these out. Ten dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> the money's going to go to the fucking relief. Some drug addict as she takes my cum. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like prostitutes. What do you think, they're college grads? <laughs> they're fucking druggies. <laughs> Who else would come to my house during the hurricane? <laughs> you bet I did. He did get I one. He, he, he got, got one during the hurricane. Yeah, she charged an extra yeah. 50 because she said the cabbies were price gouging her. Yeah. I'm like, all right. But he got <laughs> one in the middle of the hurricane. should have said no. Yeah. That would have been so mean. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. pay it. While people were losing their boats and homes, Jimmy was able to get a fucking yeah, get a hooker. young yeah. lady to his house. Right. Well, hopefully. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, sure. sure. Any sure. water play? Sure. No, 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 no. There's enough oh. water play outside. Thank yeah. you very much. Boom. That's... You didn't lose power, did you? You, you I still, you're still in the same place, right? Yeah, Up, no, yeah. I was oh. uptown. We didn't. But my, um, uh, my, yeah, my kids were with me. Some friends from downtown came and stayed with me and stuff. Oh, you let people? Did we what was Jay about to say? I just answered he's like just he's answering talking to me. Jimmy's Obviously, he's talking. Yeah, went, no, I was, um, yeah, nothing. What I usually say. Did you lose power? No. In the Pacific Palisades. <laughs> <laughs> no. We actually, then, uh, we actually gained power. Though. Everything got power. <laughs> big surge. A big white person surge. A big, if you get on a sitcom, buy a house here surge. And then your show gets canceled and your house goes into fucking syndication. And you're like, oh my God, the mortgage never stops. Yeah, what's it's happened? like mash. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, the, this other storm coming up now. I, I, I had to tie in uh, an extension cord to my generator. And wired into my panel for heat. It was, it's been like 40 degrees mm -hmm. and shit. So, you know, and I was taking the advice of people on Twitter. Jesus. So just unscrew the front those. of your electrical panel, right? Look for the breaker for the furnace, <laughs> unscrew it, uh, tie it together with a, a piece of an extension cord, the black wire in there. Take the white one, put it on the, with, with the rest of the white ones, and then you know, keep blacks and whites separate on the. Because <laughs> even not with electricity, it's very dangerous to combine the black and the white. Yeah. You get uh, you know, yeah. fire. Mm. Uh, and, then, and then just plug it into the generator, and uh, there and you worked, go. Huh? And the furnace turned on. I'm like, hey, nice. But it looks like it's going to just catch on fire any minute. It's just, Jerry yeah, it doesn't look You Jerry good. rigged it? It's not to yeah. code at all. No, not you to Jerry code. rigged it? But you got to turn the mains <laughs> off, too, because you, you could Jerry back rigged feed it. into the line and electrocute a guy that's working on the fucking wires <laughs> down the line. That's the price which, he pays. Which, after eight or nine days without power, I really don't give a shit about the life of a guy getting zapped by my generator. He went to ICDC College. That's what you get. <laughs> ICDC, which one was Internet yeah. colleges. Oh, okay. Regional, I suppose. Yeah, it probably yeah, is. At this point. It's like an apex tech here. <laughs> Everything you're explaining is like you live in a wagon train. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody circle around. We're going to make coffee. It's fucking crazy. No, I, I just, I'm, so, I'm literally completely crazy. surprised that uh, you, of all people, I know. how did you not knuckle down and see this coming? I, uh, you seem like the guy that would have well, a Well, I have a generator, but it's, you know... You I, knuckled I down. You just one. didn't think it was going to be nine days. Yes. And with the looting and stuff, uh, I make looting. sure I, I'm constantly um, so, armed around my house. Is there looting in your neighborhood? Not a uh, single right. peep of looting yeah. in my neighborhood. And maybe it's the fact that you run around your house like Mickey Rourke and Barfly. <laughs> it's kind of hard to fucking get together. And hook that generator up when you're fucking face down in the linoleum at fucking three in the afternoon. Because <laughs> all the times they've come to put it in and, and, not, and you're like, go away! Go away! Who the not fuck now. is you at? You're fucking uh, naked Mr. with a Kuna, gun. We have this. We had an appointment. Go away! Go away! <laughs> not yeah. now! It's, Shh! It's has okay, there been honey. any looting in this storm? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Some would say. Coney Island. What well, about the, last night on looting. the internet? I'm reading that there was Black Panthers in Philadelphia in the National. Guard one, was guy. It was one, one guy. It was one guy. It was one Black Panther one. guy, and for some reason, he was also. Why would that intimidate anybody? A, that would make me laugh. He was a Democratic um, uh, observer, so he was actually supposed to be there as an observer, and a Black Panther, just standing there. It supposedly intimidates people for some reason, but it was an all black neighborhood, all black school where this uh, polling was being done. And they had so he wasn't really intimidated. Obama mural over one of, uh, yes. at one of the polling places. The school, people, yeah. people lost yeah. their shit. Yeah, they Somebody came up, up to paper. me while I was, when I was voting. I was in a long line. 
and this guy comes up to me. I did this joke on the SNL monologue about the old lady in the airport, and I say that she was probably a refugee at some point. And I paint this picture of like my husband she's died. On a muddy, she's on a muddy road, <laughs> and she's got some kid with a big Jewy hat next to her. Right? That surprised so, me when you said that. They actually said to me, somebody said to me, "Standards complain, but you know it's life. Do what you want." To. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> so oh, I did fantastic. it. Fantastic. And then anyway, so some guy comes up to me in line while I'm voting with. I'm with my daughter, and this guy comes up. A big kind of heavy guy, and he's got a lift, and he's just sort of weird, and he's just kind of aggressive, and he goes, "Hey, you're that comedian, aren't you?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes, "Oh, sure, you're funny, but what's a Jewy hat?" Ugh. And everybody turns and looks at me. Holy shit! And I don't. I just look at him, and he goes, "I'm a Jew. Do I have to wear a Jewy hat?" Oh God, no! This did not happen. It did happen. Holy shit. And I just, I just looked at him with no expression, and then he, he got nervous. I think he was hoping that I would go, hey, I have right, the right, right to. Yeah. He just, yeah, yeah. And then we, it was really awkward. Yeah. Oh. You should have said it's a baseball cap away. with a K on the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or a J. It's a hood. <laughs> or an H. <laughs> do I have to wear one? Yeah, uh, Joey has. Well, you do. Oh, God. You're very, very Jewy. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. I didn't say anything. What yeah. Are, what are you going to wow, say? That, that's kind of weird. You don't diffuse things well. I thought, like, like, I would have been self-righteous oh, ass. Yeah, yeah. But first that's Louis' would have been a First stuff. Amendment fucking speech right there. Well, you don't have, it's like I always, you know, you don't have to say anything yet. Just figure, just look at him and see what happens. What's see he going to do goes. now? Yeah. Now, your move still. Yeah, go yeah exactly. Move. He didn't have That's a follow-up. He thinks that, okay, <laughs> now, now you talk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Still no, I don't move. have to. Say something else. Yeah. It's like passing uh, your turn in Scrabble. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Yeah. Uh, and then he went outside, and that was the end of it. And then he went on with his life. Told yeah. eight people how all, uh, shit I said that I didn't say, probably. Oh, I'm sure it was, you know. And then he said, how <laughs> dare you? And I said, here's how I dare. He said I had horns. <laughs> He'll think <laughs> twice before he makes another Jewy joke. I think I said him straight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lisp was bad, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he probably, uh, I don't want to say it on the air, but he was probably... Uh, Probably oh, uh, so. uh, oh. a homosexual. A pit, yeah, a pitcher. I'm doing the limp wrist. Oh, homosexual. Oh. We got an observation from a guy in Tampa. Oh, good. This oh. is going to be pretty good for uh, Louis C.K. It's mm. Jay in Tampa. Jay. Hey, yo, if I go back to BAB with you, man, long time. Long, long time. fucking time. Oh, nice. Jesus. Well, we love you. I just got a question for you. How is it that uh, mm. Joey can land a DC kind of floating down the Hudson and you get fucking stopped? How did Joey land? Oh, Sully in the plane. Sully landed a plane in the Hudson. Sully <laughs> got stuck in the mud. <laughs> Two That's hours in. Excellent observation. Yeah. Sully. I don't think you uh, up, appreciate Jay, job, the complexities though. of <laughs> yeah. navigating a 34 foot meridian. It's yeah. very complicated. Sully landed in the Hudson River. No one died. That is a great point. He did a better job of the 737 on the water than yeah. he did with a brand new boat and two cheese sandwiches. <laughs> 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 Why are we happy that his boat's all fucked because up? Because it's hilarious when there's nothing a fucking funnier. Yeah. Then, yacht gets wrecked. Yeah. It's, it's really, great. Well, I You're, don't know why. What's better than your shitty friend gets a boat and then fucking winds up in the paper because oh, it's in the mud? Oh, You're oh, better than that. Great. Your shitty friend. I was was a little, what, the only thing that made me... <laughs> The only thing that made me anxious about it being in the paper was that I don't want people knowing that I have a fucking... That's true. Boat. But yeah. it well, said, you don't it anymore. said yacht, Louis C.K. <laughs> it's it's on Bloomfield Avenue in Clifton. And all these people online commented and said, that's not a it's yacht. Not a yacht. Wow. And I was that's like, a, oh, perfect. A pleasure craft, yes. perhaps. Yeah. Yes, there was a disappointment on Louis C.K.'s boat. Uh, Boston Whaler. Lefty thought that he was going to meet uh, Sam Traficante, but <laughs> one way to go for a fucking yeah, for yeah. Donnie Brasco <laughs> joke. Hey, so what? I didn't think you got oh, there, yes. Jimmy. Uh, dude, I got my yacht. You blow it up. You That's put the it. wooden seat on. You, you go, go fishing. Did you take Bob Kelly on the boat? Boom. I took Bob Kelly Bobby, yeah. Bob oh, talked man. about You know what, dude? Just me and Louie on a boat, dude. Look at this. Uh, what, really, what do you think? Oh. Just two fucking two professionals talking it over. Shithead, oh. you were probably the only one available. Did you bottom out that time, too, at 1,000 feet away? Water. <laughs> yeah, you were the fucking 18th person he called. <laughs> Bobby, these for you. <laughs> how was uh, how was the trip with Bob Kelly? I, w I went to the comedy cellar and he was there. And I said, let's go. In a to boat? This. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were hoping that you weren't on your boat and all of a sudden you ran over him and the propeller hit his yeah. back and he popped up. <laughs> 
<laughs> manatee? Yeah. Manatee. <laughs> he's a manatee. He's got the swirly fucking scar on his back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dad, it's me. Kind, kind eyes. And I went out on it one night. <laughs> I took Chris Rock and my manager out on it one night. Chris didn't want to go, and he came anyway. And we went out to the Statue of Liberty. And uh, there was this thing floating in the water. Chris saw it. He said, what is that? And it was this big thing, and it, it was dark. It was oh. night. It was like 1 in the morning. Oh, so shit. it looked like uh, like a raft from a ship, you know, like a big round raft. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> yeah. And I yelled over, hey, is anyone in that boat? And it didn't have any lights or anything. And then we noticed that it was coming towards us, like kind of with some speed. <laughs> And Chris goes, get the fuck away from that thing. <laughs> like, it was creepy. What was So it? I backed away from it, yeah. and I put a light on it, and it was, it was like, it looked like a giant manhole cover sticking out of the river. This was the weirdest night of fucking ever. And it's right by the... Nautical Statue of mystery. Yeah, right by the Statue of Liberty. It's a like, I don't know, 20 feet across, and it's moving. It's... Pro propelling through water are you sure it was moving or it didn't just it was, look like it was, it was leaving like, yeah. awake wow what the fuck so submarine i call up well if the river. uh yeah. channel 16 i go is anyone monitoring this channel there's something because the, the Staten island ferry was very close to there and i thought this it could easily sink this that any ferry i would have sunk if i had hit it yeah really had you backed away from it by the time you called in yeah and so i called in and then this woman came on this is a new york harbor coast guard Call, uh, give me your your home number. I mean, your phone number if you have a phone. So I give her my number, and this guy calls, and he says, "What are you seeing?" And I describe it, and I he goes, "Describe it as well as you can." And my manager, I said, "What does that look like?" He goes, "I'm really sorry, but it looks like a summary. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like the top of a like a, like the hatch." <laughs> of a submarine. So I go, I don't want to cause a problem, but it looks like the hatch of a submarine. <laughs> And it's headed towards Lower Manhattan. <laughs> like that's actually that's what I'm seeing, and I'm sure it's not that. But my main concern is it's not lit, and uh -huh. it could cream anything that hits. It's going down. And the guy goes, "All right, well, I'll call a boat and send them to you." So he hangs up, and like 20 minutes later, there's nobody there. And I call him back, and we have the light on it, and I have this weird feeling like, is it gonna shoot at us? Like, what is this thing? Like, we were a really freaking out. fucking starts coming at you. Yes, Chris Rock oh. fell asleep. Like he's just like you yeah. guys are idiots, and he yeah. went to sleep. Are you are wearing people life vests? Shit. That's white people no. shit. No, you don't wear life vests no. in your boat. Oh, no, I don't usually. You the kids do. Observe water safety. Kids, what are you yeah. fucking quint? <laughs> so, <laughs> never put on a life jacket again. <laughs> Take a bat to the radio. Submarine in the water. Our submarine. <laughs> so anyway, we call. I call back, and they're not sending anybody. And I and I at one point I got crazy and I was like I said what are you what do you do if somebody's you are the Coast Guard and I am saying to you now there's a there's a submarine attacking Lower Manhattan. Yeah, this is I'm like Jimmy's, saying it. This is like Jimmy's story with the bus only on the water. Yes, when you were yeah. called for the stolen bus. Yeah. Like how would why wouldn't if that did happen sure. someone would yeah. see it yeah. and call in and they're like uh, we're trying to get park police over here. I'm like ah. send a fucking helicopter. Uh, we know about it, Mr. CK. <laughs> how, how do you know my name? How do you know my name? <laughs> right. they, they knew exactly what this thing was. Oh, wow. And he kept asking me to hover. We kept hovering around it and stuff. And then finally this big police boat comes and shines like a massive light on it. And then he calls, hails me on the radio. Uh, hey, Captain, are you the one who, uh, oh, Captain. who oh, reported this? Uh -oh. And I go, yeah. And he goes, uh, it's a mooring ball. It's been there since 1965. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking... And I go, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry I wasted your time. You didn't know? You've never yeah. seen a bunch of moorings dancing. No. Ooh. I know. Ooh. That was delicious. Uh, <laughs> well, you, uh, you, that's all right. You oh, thought it was shit. Sean Connery defecting. How are you supposed to know? Uh, mooring ball. Oh, big iron fucking uh, yeah, it's floating. Got, it's on a chain. Yeah, I guess people tie up to it. Yeah, and like I'm like, how, what if you don't see it? And everybody, oh, the guy in the, well, most people navigating those waters know what the fuck they're doing. Right. That's why. It's probably marked on a chart that there's a mooring ball probably. there. But when you were off to yeah. the side getting away from it, because you initially said it was coming towards you, <laughs> yeah. leaving away. It looks like it was going towards me because it's on a chain to the bottom. Yeah. So when the current takes it, it, it looks right. like it's moving. It's wow. not just drifting or bobbing. I was going to say, it must have, like, just yeah. the river moving, the current. Really? I'm a, I, I have tomato. no business being on the water because, <laughs> oh, yeah. because it that. looks like it's moving in one direction to me because I'm fucking moving. So it's yeah. making, like, a sure. circle. <laughs> and I keep moving around it, and I'm going, holy shit! Where the fuck it's are going we? Towards, 
Jeez, we're really moving far away. There's a now. giant thing coming out of the water. That's the Statue of Liberty, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a floating sea from another planet. That's Manhattan. It's New York City. It's Atlantis. I'm sorry. I found Atlantis. <laughs> I said that how I thought oh, Anthony would have said it. That's oh. fucking funny, man. I, I love your boat story. Oh, they're fucking uh, great. They're There's wonderful. no one that shouldn't have a boat. Then fucking Louis more than Louis. Oh, Louis. It's fun. It's fun as shit to be on it. I would you have sunk if you hit that though? That would have that would have killed you. Oh yeah, boat? yeah. And I would have hit it if I hadn't stopped at the Statue of Liberty to show it off to mm. Chris and them. Well, so why don't they have a light on a mooring ball? It seems because like... everybody and that and that's actually out in the open New York Harbor is I'm the only idiot in the they whole New know York Harbor. I'm there. the only asshole. It has some tape on it, some reflective tape. That yeah. They said it, you know, but yeah, they don't expect submarines some put reflective. They tape do. On they their like hatches. to be seen. Yeah. Nice. I'm, I'm so. sure if you <laughs> don't if you don't trip when you're chart. coming off stage on the submarine. <laughs> we'll put some electrical tape down so you can see it when you're coming off on the steps. Tape down the cable. I'm sure if you looked at. Like Thank where you, you were and, and looked at a chart, it would probably be there. Probably. Like yeah. mooring ball It's an number old mooring ball. 625. For, and if a big tanker wants to sit there, it hooks yeah, to the Yeah, then they ball. just, instead of dropping an anchor. Is that because it's yeah. too, it, it, this way it prevents it from going to the shallower water to get close. It can do it in the deep water. Yeah, it's simpler. Mooring balls are so you don't have to throw an anchor down. Yeah, it's a pain you in the ass. hook up to it and you hang out. You're there. How heavy is a fucking mooring ball that it can keep oh, a ship man. in place? What's it, what's it latch into the water with? But it's yeah, how big was chains, this thing? Big chains. How big was it? A safety pin. What? How could it be that heavy <laughs> and float? Leaf. Yeah. Well, like any, like you know, like a ship, like an aircraft carrier is pretty heavy. It's a it, big it, hollow it, ball. It has buoyancy, <laughs> full of air. Buoyancy. And at yeah. the like, bottom, uh, it's a giant fucking. It's really hard to push air down to the, to the underwater. Yeah, that's very hard. Yeah, yeah. air is difficult. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great difficult. fucking story. That is fantastic. Two horrible boat stories. And you stayed <laughs> yeah. there. You stayed there. It's like an hour. To find out what it was, it to, for safety purposes for other people, or to find out what it was. I was concerned with about somebody wrecking Some, into it. it really? Yeah. I wanted to. Go, I didn't want to be doing it. I wanted to go home, but you probably thought it was submarine. terrorism. You're so you're, you're you're when you do when you the boat shit they give you to read. Yeah. It, you know you're responsible for everybody out there. Ah, uh, so. yeah, yeah. Were you were you th like running through a fantasy in your head of Louis C.K. Uh, <laughs> fucking terrorist, terrorist thwarted by comic yes. Louis C.K. You know what's great? All Anthony said was Louis C.K. and we all burst yeah, out. Yeah, we all over. knew the text. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, just he's so just so daydreaming great. like yeah. Yes, everybody's going to know so now them. that I'm really a captain. Homeland Security. Yes, but instead, the headline reads in quotes: "Comic arrested for pranking police department." <laughs> yeah. Comic local local. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you thought that there was going to be so, like, yeah. good, cool, you saw something and you said something. Good job. That's it. Local Com comic known for playing grandpa's uh, comedy club <laughs> in Yonkers. Comes across a piece of hardware that's been there since the World's Fair. Yes. <laughs> yes, calling the police for being attacked by a giant bowling ball. <laughs> it's a big circle and it's just hanging out there for 51 years. That's fun. <laughs> Finally, somebody caught it. Yes. God, that's fucking great, man. Uh, I want to look at the time. Yeah, it should we fucking late. call it? I have, uh, shit. I, I go to the gym uh, before therapy. I would love Is to it a kettlebell day? To what are you no. doing today? Fire I don't, probably system. cardio because I have therapy. What's, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. How'd you do neck? It's fucking arms. <laughs> upper, yeah. upper body I just today. Do, I just do upper neck. Body. On Wednesday? Pull ups. Hump day, Anthony. I gotta do neck only. When's the uh, kettlebell day? Sets up one. Push ups where you fucking, you go down. There's no cheating on these push ups. You go down, lift your hands up off the fucking floor and then you gotta go again hands up off the floor what are you talking about you can't fucking <laughs> right. push That's up cheating that is cheating no. sure it is yeah what are you, you talking about your chest in between. on the floor your chest is on the floor Cheer. and your arms go up so you can't just do these you're only moving like two how about, inches how about you just make sure you're an inch off the floor no how about you fucking you engage your core more with what anthony is yeah, saying exactly. because your hands are all the way up very difficult gonna have to try but i'm just one. doing neck very difficult just neck today huh colin just just neck, neck. No. sets of one or two <laughs> it's a big weight take for me <laughs> neck. i got too, too many carbs last night that's unbelievable mm. oh, I, know. I spoke at a friend of mine's house he said colin when do you come over I said, it's not that good of a story, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? What, I'm some great orator all of a sudden. Like, oh, here comes Colin with a filibuster about his friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, you got two Emmys. I'm doing neck. <laughs> it's not even just the voice. It's, it's, no, it's, it's totally It's what's him. being said. The cadence, yes. the no, fucking everything. face, 
And the appropriate defeated term. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jesus. That's fucking fantastic, Jay. You threw Colin off today Jesus when he called in. Oh, no, yeah, a couple Colin, of times during this so funny. time, yeah. I've, he's done it and I've jerked my head over like yeah. he's, I yeah. swear, mm. like I forgot. My crazy. favorite is, is Eddie Vedder, but... No better today. No, that's all right. You well, did a Louis, lot We're last all time. very proud of Louis C.K. He's been in front of us for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is one of the greats. A good guy, you know. This is dissident. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like feel, to, I, I like to say nothing before every song. <laughs> and it really just evaporates the time that you have and you spend. <laughs> uh, um, Dick Cheney's the world's biggest asshole. He said that when I saw him. Really? really? And I was like, you didn't play Jeremy yet. You're the world's biggest asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, girlfriends now? Uh, Get Jeremy over with, and then you can talk uh, about Dick Cheney. Fucking, when you do your set, right. and then when the house lights come on at 11, come back out, we'll have a little pilot talk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking little Eddie, but you jerk. Eddie, what do you think of the election last <laughs> night? Uh, I think it was a victory for all Americans, and uh, African-American, Polish-American, American-American. But uh, yeah, we don't see color in this band. The only color we see is black. This is black. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a fucking I great Eddie Vedder, man. Fucking love it's really it. good. Uh, you gotta make sure you vote. If you vote, then you can complain all you want. <laughs> is, is he pretending to be Scottish or something, that guy? He's a little bit. And on Twitter last night, people said, do you realize you're doing Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go watch a whole bunch of fucking Johnny Depp movies and work another yeah, impression really that good. no one will laugh at. It's my act. <laughs> Fuck, I do Harvey Keitel for eight minutes just to make Joe DeRosa laugh. The audience is staring at me like I'm a jerk. <laughs> Uh, you say the goddamn words. DeRose is going to be okay. But can you imagine Eddie Vedder <laughs> talking to Jack Nicholson? Well. Oh, uh, oh no. We God. have a real celebrity in the house. Normally we don't turn the house lights on people because we want you to have your anonymity and be a group part of the group. <laughs> but, uh, my God, four easy pieces. Jack Nicholson is here tonight joining us. Hey, Pearl Jam, here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say we don't know Johnny, but we know Jeremy. <laughs> uh, observation, Louis C.K. is officially a big deal because uh, yes. a guy we rarely see is waiting to say hi to you. Yeah, so, oh, Scott Greenstein. Look at that. He only comes around is. for the big guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll give you some kind of line of bullshit. Does he? <laughs> oh, he's listening. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't care. Spoken like a man who hasn't. I, I got a contract. I don't I, give a Colin fuck. Colin and Vetter just crashed in my <laughs> face. Really said, hmm. Wow. Yeah. Spoken, like, spoken yeah. like a man that has a contract. Have yeah. him come in and say hi. Uh, spoken like flow. a man. There's something that you do you, stuff with your face when you make it. Colin, you, you get your... Colin is the same face as... Yeah. Yeah. This is the same face as Keitel. What it the is? fuck was Louie thinking? <laughs> Two Colin's Emmys. That he didn't take smell. anyone. <laughs> And then Colin is just a little more. Oh, Colin's yeah. got that. And Vetter is just drunk on red wine face. because if it takes all night, well, then that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy Elevator Rides with Opie. Make sure you see his YouTube channel. I have a question about the Emmys. Oh, yeah. Did you, uh, did you win the first one you were nominated for? Or... Um, yeah, I mean, the first one that came up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were the first. I mean, that oh, category nice. was like. Second on the whole night, jeez. And when you lose it, are, are you th are you thinking like uh, fuck, or is it like no, nah, I already got no, one? No, it's okay. like it, it should be like what I would say. Uh, the answer I would say because I want to sound like a like you know I'm really down earth dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know I won that one, then I was like to then I was like set for the night. But you're you're gr I'm greedy like everybody else. <laughs> so I actually didn't. I wish I had won that one last because I would have been like fuck, fuck, fuck. Yes, I got one. Yeah. But I won one. I'm like, all right, okay, but how many more? I could get more. Yeah. So I'm I didn't enjoy. More. I didn't properly enjoy oh, shit. the That's two funny. that I won because there was still more coming up. I was like, okay, <laughs> how many am I getting? And then when I'm done, when I lost the last one, I was like, all right, well, two is good. That's two. No, I, I, I'll That's totally cop to that. Where are the Emmys right now? It brought out the worst in me. Where the are whole they? Thing. Where'd you put them? I got them on, on my boat. one on my desk and one on the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He used it to tie a rope and throw to food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't use it. Yeah, it's it's like a mooring ball. Yeah. The, it's in a tree somewhere in get Jersey. A, get a whole chicken and <laughs> stick it on one of these wings. Yeah. Exactly. We're starving over here, you I would have happily done that with a uh, waiter. You were nominated for more than anybody else ever, though, right? Seven? Seven, yeah. That's wow. Amazing. Wow, that's wow. fucking ever? amazing. Yeah, that's the most uh, ever. I, but Dave, David Lynch was on my show. He he was fucking the, great. Dude, the he David was Lynch the prior uh, record was five. That wow. David Lynch shit was amazing. I didn't realize it was him fucking at first. Amazing. Like I'm watching it. He's like and the best actor I ever uh, amazing. had on the show. He was that fucking and, Fuck and yeah. it's kind of being involved so with some far, of those people. 
Being, yeah. Safe. Oh, that was so <laughs> fucking right, good. Being I'm involved with those people on, on some level, yeah. that was, he played the perfect network guy. No, it was, no, it was unbelievable. It was perfect. He didn't want to do it either. It took me like 10, I wrote him really? many emails. And he was writing back, I love the scripts, uh, but you really ought to get somebody Go. else. I'm wow. not an actor. Oh, is he good? He, he pulled it off. Gary Marshall yeah. was amazing, too. Gary Marshall. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. one monologue he gave was chilling. Unbelievable. And he's an old, uh, old, he's an old he, man. He's been in here. Yeah, yeah, and he great. fucking kicked ass. Nailed it was it. chilling. That did he do that just as you had written it, or did he improv exactly. that at all? From his, oh, okay. So he exactly. wrote it as an actor did it. Yeah. He did, said every word exactly. I love and, the Dane and, episode from way back. Yeah, that was mm. good. Dane did great. When you, Dane yeah, did a really good job. And you... I've been defending Dane forever, so I was happy to just you had him on. Dane's a good guy. He's a very oh, nice guy. A black yeah. wife. Yeah, we what? haven't talked to you about this season. Yeah, yeah. Also, you just throw a black <laughs> wife. In yeah. There. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With white kids. She's a good actress. <laughs> That's it. Right. She. You know what? The one scene in the in the late show three part run. Right. There's a scene where she says you have to get this job. Yeah. She did that better than anybody. That's really what got her to the job. Wow. Um, and you didn't feel like you had explained it. I didn't know anything. because I, if I had if I had known how good she was going to be, I might have got I might have started with black kids. <laughs> but I did. It happened in the order it happened. Right. I'd already picked the kids, and she was just the best one. So I decided. Some people will go, "What is that?" But I don't care if they say. I that. love that you didn't explain it. Who cares? Man? Yeah, there would have Why been uh, to it? try Fuck to explain it because no, there great. was no just let explanation. It, it just is one. what it Fuck is. It. And the other thing was the uh, the motorcycle. Yeah. Did you ride motorcycles before that episode? Yeah, I used to. Have, I used to ride them regularly. Yeah. And, and back you, in the day, I know you had one. Yeah, I had one. And uh, used to ride back in the walls in, the, in your apartment. That's right. And yeah, you know, Jay and I were we did the we we were like in village clubs together for a long. Oh, time really? Back in the day, yeah. And then Louis shot past me on a rocket ship. Well, you shot past first. I was hot shit for a while. You shot past first. Yeah, Jay shot I up. gave an ex-wife every penny I ever this earned. This fucking skinny kid oh. from and I'm a fucking uh, from, <laughs> This kid from New Jersey shows up, a skinny kid, and he just gets every fucking possible gig. And actually, I learned a lesson from Jay's coming up because I remember think, thinking, I mean, I had been doing it for a while, and he shot right past me, and he was younger than me. He hadn't been doing it as long. But I thought, he's not taking my gigs. He's getting his. And uh, and I was happy for him. I always thought, I, he was the first person that, like, he's the guy on which I processed that idea. Uh, yeah. And it's got nothing to do with me. That's his success. Mm -hmm. And also, Jay had so many fucking tools. He's got this rubber voice. And he had this a funny arrogance, like uh, he had a he had, he was a I found hockey that after, kid, and it yeah. was funny. Yeah. I'm happy to hear you guys discussing this too, as opposed to me in the mirror every morning, who I just repeat slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> <laughs> That funny arrogance I've learned uh, in subsequent podcasts bred a lot of hate. <laughs> it's okay, man. It is now. You leave a trail of a bunch. Yeah, it is now, and that's all it has to be. I, mean, I think when you identify that it's not really a proper way to behave to strangers, like, right. look at these fucking assholes <laughs> sitting at a table, and it's like, we don't really know who you are, and now we just think you're a dick. Because <laughs> oh, you're used to hanging out with, like, you know, you know, Jimmy and Louie and Patrice at the cellar. Just your and then, friends, yeah. Then you go someplace else to L.A. with fucking L.A. comics, and you're like, look at these fucking assholes. Hey, and also, when you, you doing assholes? Like, it doesn't work out the same Ooh, way, huh? When you did the acting like Jerry Maguire, everybody respected that. You, that, was, that was a fucking oh, yeah, trademark it role. Huge. It was great. I wish I did it now. It's a great part. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a way bigger deal because everybody would know who I was. Oh, That's the guy that is Eddie Vedder. Got that job? <laughs> this is awkward, Jerry. You should say something. It's it's real. Great line. You want it smaller. You want it smaller. I get it. Crowded rate. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I, try to do, I can only do Tom Cruise's laugh smile. So I was pointing at Louis as Tom uh -huh. Cruise. I get it. Crowded restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. So yeah. there's no scene. You unctuous. You wanted smaller. I still don't know all those words. My wife goes, "How come you remember everything you've ever?" I don't. Remember. I go, "Cause everything I've ever done only lasted a year. <laughs> if anything was ever successful, it would be a fucking blur." Saturday Night Live, two years. Gary O'Malley, two years. Jeff Boxworthy show, five episodes. Oh, like shit. everything I've ever done, or a movie's like three weeks. Action. Action, eight episodes. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, if Gary and Married went like five years, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, just garbage in, garbage out. I don't know what the fuck I said. Like, she was on three shows that went five years each time. Jesus. Of course you don't remember anything. Like, Louis doesn't know dialogue from season one, do you? For, of, of what? My show? We're out yeah. of time. Listen. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right we should uh, wrap up. Jay Moore, Kelly 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 Kelly
Zush. I'm sorry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Out there on Long Island? Yeah, if there's if no power, power, come on out to Governor's and we'll keep you warm with laughter. Jesus. <laughs> well, are you promoting anything? What do you got, buddy? Uh, well, I'm going to do that. I think this Saturday before Thanksgiving will be, I'll be at uh, the Staten Island nice. thing. Good. And so it'll be on my website. Okay. And it will be a place on the website to give money to people in Staten Island. Ooh. Nice. That's pretty fucking nice. I think what we're going to do is have the tickets be like 90 bucks, oh. and then you buy, you're getting a ticket, and then you're buying one for somebody there. So oh, it'll, good. we'll raise money, and people get to see the show mm. whose houses are. Um, Maybe it's. What, what about the people that just were not affected on Staten Island at all? Um, are you gonna, how are you going to. We have a way, a way to tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. And I Jimmy. I will be uh, in Buffalo New Year's Eve, December 28th. Through the 31st, I'm um, at the Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo. And uh, this uh, Thursday through Saturday, November 15th through 17th, at the Addison Improv. Good club. It's great. The, yeah, Addison I love Dallas. That's a great club. I love that room. And I'm going to love Buffalo. Yes. New Year's Eve. Kenny's Ooh. fired up about it. Is he? Uh, <laughs> think? Why did I fucking... Oh. Why? What do you mean why? For money. For the balloons. Uh, no, but, yeah, but I know why. But, I mean... I understand. Buffalo. Tell me why. <laughs> no, but I mean the weather is going to be hot. Tell me why, hot. Jake. Why? Why are we going to come all the way to Not Cleveland a... for you to get beat by a fucking bullet? <laughs> why? You want to go in and fight him? Yeah. It's it's my wife. Cold. Let's get out of here. I what? Guess. Yeah. What? All right. You got a big shot that wants Jake, to say hi to you, Lou. Great, Louie. Thanks so much. Do I, have, do I have to do that? Oh, man. It's you just can nonsense. do whatever you like. Make believe you don't speak English. Listen, make, right believe, listen, make believe you don't speak English. He's gonna, this like, might be hard to no convince speaking. him. Yeah, it's that. just nonsense. <laughs> he does it. He's a radio guy. Well, that's true. Oh, yeah. he probably probably wants to do a radio no this is Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> All right, Jay Morris. Lucy K., great seeing you.